Allah is going to save the Muslims from hell by giving them a Jew or a Christian to replace them. What? Can right. I have that hadith, please? She's shocked, shocked. shocked. It's God. It's God. It's God. It's God. It's God. Now, God had to die? Now, can I explain it now, Brother Keys? Ezekiel 16, 63. What? That is so strange. I don't. I think that that to me, it's kind of satanic that God had to send a man to die for man. Like that's it's satanic. You guys All right. Can I answer? Man? You can pick whatever book he's. Now I'm going to show you why the Christian position is logical. Yours is not. Can I explain now? Just listen, and then you can argue with me. But let me finish the point. I mean, I'm not saying that Christians die for Muslims. Why God? Yes, we'll get to that one. Why God had to be the one to make atonement? He says, I. I, right? Yep, I. I'm going to talk. How yep. do you do it? Now, let me show you logic. Why our Bible is miraculous, it's from God. It's beautiful. Christians, watch the beauty and the wisdom of our God. If you have one sinless man, let's say I'm sinless, and I say, God, I will die in his place, the sinner, so he can be forgiven. The problem is, Bilkis, human life is equivalent to human life. Eye for eye, soul for soul, meaning... If I'm a man who's sinless, I can only die for the payment of one man. I can't die for every man because I am not more valuable than all human lives. The only one who has value, a value and worth that is greater than all mankind combined is God. Not even an angel is equivalent to a human life because according to the Bible, humans are higher than angels and animals. So an angel can't come and offer his life to pay the debt of all humans because an angel, his value is less than a human. The only being whose value is greater than human, human and all creation is God. So God says, all right, in my love, I want to pay the debt of all human beings who will turn to me and believe. But now you have another problem, Vikis. The debt is human death. Because God says, if a human sins, he dies. So a human death has to occur. But God is not a man. God is spirit. So what does God do? I will now become man and die a human death. Because when I, God, die a human death, that makes the death infinite in its value. So now my human death, because I'm God, not a human person, I'm God, who now becomes human and dies a human death, that makes my sacrifice of infinite value and I can cover the debt of all humans and all creation. This is why the gospel is beautiful and you don't have it. Um, yes, you are I, I do not think that God needs, like, I don't think human sacrifices is needed to cure sins. Like, you can just ask for forgiveness oh, and God will forgive you. She didn't I don't, hear I, all this, No, all this that's not true. That's not true. Now, now can we show her? Yeah, go ahead. That's not true, Bill Keys. Go ahead. He's going to show you. Allah doesn't simply forgive you. He he, de, he demands mm -hmm. hmm, kafara, mm -hmm. atonement. I think you guys have com complicated your religion. You guys have com We've complicated, complicated it. Yes, because that is uh, very complicated. So let, let me ask you, do you believe that it is satanic? It's a satanic idea that somebody else takes on the sins of someone else? You believe that that's satanic and evil? No no man can pay for another man's sin. And no, Beautiful. nobody, so no man nobody can... everybody's accountable for their own sins. Got There's it. no such thing as if my sister said I'm accountable for it. There's no such thing as that. Everyone is accountable for their own sins. And right. on the day of judgment, God is going to judge that individual person based on their own sins. And it has always been like that from the so, beginning of So that doesn't answer my question. Do you believe that it is evil for someone to take on the sins of another, for God to put somebody else's sins on another person. Do you believe that that's evil? It's not, it's not, it's not even evil. It's just, it's illogical. It's, it's illogical. And yeah, so this is something unfair. that Allah, this why? is something that God would never do. Why would, why would somebody commit a sin and he would put it on somebody else? I just, I'm just asking you, what, what, you're saying God would never do that because it's illogical. It doesn't make sense. He would not give somebody else somebody else's sin. Okay, so you Good. just condemned Allah. Now wait, 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 before you go on, guys, 
He said, she said, he will not condemn you because of someone else's sins. She said it, heard it. Now watch Bilkis, Sheikh. Watch what he's going to He's going to give you hadith. Sahih Muslim, what are you going to show us? Sahih right? Muslim, 2767A. Sahih Muslim, 2767A, Bill. Sahih Muslim, 2767A. It says, Allah's Messenger said, when it will be the day of resurrection, Allah would deliver to every Muslim a Jew or a Christian and say, that is your ransom from hellfire. That's your rescue from hellfire. So according to Muhammad, Allah is going to save the Muslims from hell by giving them a Jew or a Christian to replace them. What? Can right. I have that hadith, please? She's really shocked. Happen. Shocked. Absolutely, you can have it. But Yeah, give me that. But I, I, would, I would have to do my research, my extensive research on the hadith, and see what it actually means. I know you oh, that's a, now it has to mean something. Oh. Okay. But Keith, this is why we told you. What's the name of the hadith? Sahih Muslim. So it, um, I'm going to tell you where to find it. When you go to sunnah.com, you listening? Yeah. When you go to sunnah.com, put in 2767A. 2767. This is why. 67A. If you're in the comment section on YouTube, we can give you links. Or if you Skype me or him. Now, I'm telling you guys now, ain't no way in my Quran and Allah says that people will pay for people's sex. That's what it says and here. I'm going to give that I have to see the hadith and I have to understand what it actually means. Oh, you know, let me, let me do this for you. You know, just for yeah. you. If we could, uh, I'm gonna flip you links. Yeah. I'm gonna flip the screen so you can see it yourself. Yeah, show her the others too. Because we love you and you're our favorite. Now watch here. All right. <laughs> she loves it too when you say that. <laughs> but Keith, be careful. Don't fall in love with the Christian men. You gotta marry Muslim men. So look, <laughs> you see it, Sahih Muslim 2767A. You see it? Yeah. All right. So it says, Wait, Abu Musa's report uh, reported that Allah's messenger said. When it will be the day of resurrection, Allah would deliver to every Muslim a Jew or a Christian and say, that is your rescue from hellfire. Isn't that crazy? You want to show up? You want to it, get, it, get, it gets worse. That's Watch not here. So did you register that? But Keith, you got that? Yeah, I'm, ty I'm, ty I'm typing it up so I can see the what 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 the verse come out from and what it actually. It's right here. It's sa it's Sahih Muslim. Know, the book of it, it has to have a it has to has a reason and a meaning. Yeah, the reason is this. The I reason. That, I don't think Allah said that He's gonna give. Oh yeah, the, there, there's a reason. There is a reason. That's not, that's, that's not what it's saying. The I'm reason is the re the reason is because a Muslim dies saying La ilaha illallah, right? While the Jews and the Christians are considered as disbelievers since they reject Allah and Muhammad. So because of that, the Muslim will be rescued from hell by uh -huh. Allah placing their sins upon a Jew or a Christian. Where do you say that he's placing our sins? I, I got you. That's all you had to ask. <laughs> I got you. you didn't, that's all you had to ask. Watch this. Here's another one. Abu Burda reported on, on the authority of his father that Allah's apostle said this. No Muslim would die, but Allah would admit in his stead a Jew or a Christian in hellfire. So Allah's replacing the Muslim with a Jew or a Christian. So the Muslim deserves to go to hell, right? But Allah's going to replace them with a Jew or a Christian. She just took a picture of that. Now, the other one is going to show you. There's another one. Now watch this one. Because you, you said you asked about the sins, right? Watch the sins here. 66, 68. So same thing, 2767D. Just remember, this is not Quran, yeah? Oh! This is not Quran, this is Hadith. I have to see how, how strong this Hadith is and how weak this Hadith is and what this Hadith is about. And who was saying this Hadith? I have to say, who was saying this Hadith? Why, why did they say this? What is exactly uh, Muhammad mean? said it. Why did he write this? Muhammad. Muhammad okay. said it. I would, I would, I have to do my research to see if this is an authentic hadith. It is. It is. It's, it's Sahih Muslim. If it's weak, or if it's thing, or what is it? Sis, mean? sis, it's Sahih. What does Sahih mean? 
What does Sahih mean? Tell me. That's a that's a person. Sahih Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Well, Muslim is the person. What does Sahih mean? I don't know. Sure. Sa Sahih means authentic. You have Sahih, which is strong, authentic. You have Hassan, which is good. You have Daif, which is weak. This is okay. Sahih Muslim, just like Sahih Al Bukhari. This is Sahih Muslim. And I'm going to show in the Quran. I'm going to show in the Quran where it says that you will suffer and cause people suffer for your sins. People yep. do suffer because of other people's sins. I'm going to show you that in yep. the Quran. But so, so read this. Yep. So look, Sahih Muslim 2767D. Don't let and don't let nobody try to tell you that it's weak. It says there, there would come people amongst the Muslims on the day of resurrection with as heavy sins as a mountain. You are you looking at this? I'm seeing I took a screenshot. So good. So they come, the Muslims will come on the day of resurrection with as heavy sins as a mountain that's how much the sins they have and allah would forgive them and he would place in their stead the jews and the christians that's how allah forgives them by replacing them with jews and christians taking their sins that are as heavy as a mountain and replacing them and placing them on the jews and the christians okay let me see that okay so i okay. have from the explanation. Okay, now, Abdul Kees, can I show you some Quran verses? About what? About that you suffer because of someone else's sins? I'm, I'm afraid I don't have the knowledge on this. Okay, but I'll give you the verses for you to examine. I'm just going to read them for you, right? Um. No? Okay, it's up to you because you said Quran. He gave you Hadith. I want to give you Quran. Yes, no? Yeah, I'm going to. Okay, here. I'm going to read for you. 29, 12. Quran 29, Surah 29, 12 to 13. Pay attention, okay? I'm going to read it for you. Ready? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Chapter 29, 12 to 13. Write it. And those who disbelieve, say to those who believe. Disbelievers say to those who believe. Follow our way, and we will verily bear your sins. Never will they bear anything of their sins. Surely they are liars. Now watch, no. And verily they shall bear their own loads and other loads besides their own. And verily they shall be questioned on the day of resurrection about that which they used to fabricate. Let me repeat that part. They will bear their own burdens, loads of sin, and other loads besides their own. So here it's saying there will be people who carry their own loads of sin and the loads of sins of others. Why is that? It's from an article on our website. Now, let me give you another one. You ready? I have the I have the meaning for the first verse that you posted about Sahih Muslim. No, you don't, but because you Google this. It's not gonna help you. Okay. I can I can give the explanation to you right now if you want no, to hear it. Go ahead, try, but, but it's not. Because you know I have to ask to speak. I know you know I have to ask to speak and, sure. uh, and give. Well, you can try. I gave you Quran. Did you pay attention to the Quran verse I gave you or no? Um. I was busy reading. <laughs> See? Okay. The Quran just said 29, 12, 13. Here it is. It says they will carry their own burdens and the burdens of others, their sins. So here it says there will be people who carry their own burden of sins and also the burden of sins of others. Why? Why are they carrying two loads? Theirs and someone else's. I, I don't know. Okay. Can I give you another one from the Quran? Now, I know, for, like, for the I Christians, know, like, we, for the Christians, that was chapter 29, 12 to 13. Okay. Are you ready for the other one or no? From what I, from what I know, that like, if I have encouraged somebody to sin, or I taught them something that was sinful, each time they do it, I will get punished for it as well. That's what I know. But I don't she, think she that... Say, she's you saying know, somebody... that for what she knows is that it's, if it, she teaches to do something bad, She'll be punished for teaching someone to do something. Oh, bad. so that and means, hold on. If you cause someone to sin, you share in their sin? Meaning that if I teach Oh, so you do suffer because of someone's sins, if you have an influence over that. If he, I'm, I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that if somebody sins 
it's not my responsibility. But no, if I no, have no. taught them, if I have taught them that sin, okay. And I have so made you them taught away. someone a sin, but they commit sin, not you, but you still suffer for the sin they committed, not you. Yes, and also here's here's the next part. Here's the next part. If if I teach someone good, and they have and they, if I oh teach someone, someone wait. Good, and you do something good, I will always. Oh, get if you teach someone to do good and he does the good, it benefits you. Yes. You so when Jesus that. did good, it benefited you. Oh my God, I'm not talking about Jesus. Yes, I'm Jesus is your God. God. Oh my God, and Lord and Savior. Guys, did you hear it? Wait. If I teach someone to do good uh -huh. and he does the good, yep. then I will be blessed by the good by he the did. Good I did. Mm. So Jesus did good for us, and we benefit. Yes. And we wow. Why are you why are you incorporating Jesus, uh, my beloved prophet, in this? Okay, so thank you for proving the Christian gospel. I can't even read the other Quran. Do you want Quran or you just want to keep talking? I want to give you another Quran verse. My beloved Jesus. Can I give you another Quranic verse? My poor, my poor beloved Jesus. Can I give you another Quranic ayah? She goes, my poor beloved Jesus, because we have, yes. we have him nailed on the cross. You guys have made my, my, my prophet a lord. Okay, can I give you another Quranic verse on that we will suffer the sins we committed and the sins of others? Yes or no? You want it or no? No, oh, go ahead. Okay, chapter 16. Guys, write it down. Chapter 16, 22 to 25. 16, 22 to 25. Okay, here. You said, no, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay. Your God is one God. So as for those who do not believe in the year after, their hearts are ignorant and they are proud. Truly, Allah knows what they hide and what they manifest. Surely, he does not love the proud. And when it is said to them, what is it that your Lord has revealed? They say stories of the ancients. These are fables mom is reciting. That they, now watch, that they may bear their burdens entirely on the day of resurrection and also of the burdens of those whom they led astray without knowledge. Now surely evil is what they bear. So you're right. If I mislead him and he sins, he gets punished and I get punished for the sin he commits. <gasps> but yeah. didn't you think, no, a man cannot... Because if someone, if I did not teach or influence anyone to sin, and he commits a sin on his own without me even knowing anything, then how am I supposed to pay for that? Okay, but that wasn't the point. The point was, you said, another man cannot bear the sins of someone else. You just change your position. You said, no, 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 no. If I can teach I him to sin and he sins, now he committed the sin. Die. Can I die for sin? He, now let me finish your point. Hey, brother. Why don't you do this, man? Let's get high. Mm. I teach him to get high. Mm -hmm. Now he goes and starts getting high. Every time he gets high, because I taught him, I will get punished for every time he got high because I taught it to him. So that means I am suffering because of someone else's sins. Okay. Anyway. And can I, I ask you a final question? About, I know what I'm, I'm speaking about, and the people in the comments, they know what I'm speaking about. Now, by the way, Bilkis, I'm not trying to know. It is late. He's getting tired. Not that anyone gets you off. It'll bring you back. He is getting tired. But I want to ask you one question. Adam and Eve, they were in Jannah, right? Yes. They were in Jannah, right? Adam and Eve was in, yes, in Jannah. Jannah, that's in heaven, right? Yes. Okay. So their sin is why they were thrown to the earth, right? Yes, they were. Because okay. Of the so they, they were in Jannah and they were thrown to the earth, right? Uh -huh. As punishment, right? It was as a punishment. Yes. So why are you on Earth? I am on Earth because my my ancestors Adam and Eve are on Earth. Did you guys hear it? Clip it, archive. I'm on Earth because of okay. Adam and Eve what they did. But I thought you are not to be punished for someone else's sin. Well, we came from Adam and Eve. We were born. So they from got Adam. you thrown out of Jannah. So their sin, you, you know, suffered. It, you, you can't say that. You can't say yes, I can. I'm on Earth. I'm not in Jannah. Here. Allah willed it for us. He willed it. Oh, he that's what Adam here. said. Adam said, "Allah predestined I would sin and get all of you thrown out of paradise, so you can all be miserable. So blame Allah for making Adam sin, so that all this of us are thrown out of Jannah and are miserable on Earth." Allah has said in the Quran that this world is a test <laughs> for us. Okay, yeah, it is a test. All right, you know, that's we nice. have to go through life. As By a the way, Bultis. Yes. When were Adam and Eve naked? 
Well, it doesn't say. Yeah, chapter time. seven, if you read. Chapter it seven. says that their clothes was removed. So okay. it, has to, it, it must have been that they were dressed. If you read chapter okay. seven of the Quran, you start from 19 on, it says, Allah gave them raiment, clothing, because of their sin. And that's why the children of Adam wear clothes. So you know why you're not naked? No, 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 that's not what it says. It says that when they sinned, their clothes was removed. And when their clothes was removed, they hid behind bushes because they were ashamed of themselves. And they were And why naked. were they clothed? And they were, what? And after that, what did Allah do? They were naked. So they now, hid after behind that, bushes. what did Allah do? I don't know. I don't know. He, he says in chapter 7, he clothed them, and that's why you children of Adam have clothing. In other so words, clothed, you wear clothes because Adam and Eve sinned, and now because of their sin, you have to wear clothes. I, I, I listen, that's why you're not naked. What you're saying there? It's not making any sense because Allah has said in the Quran that whenever a person... So we're going to read chapter 7 because this man's got to sleep. He's really tired. Whenever Allah is angry with somebody, they remove their clothes. They become more naked. So being clothed is not is not a bad thing. Allah wants us to cover up ourselves and to cover and protect our honor. Okay. So I'm that we have to... Okay, now here, we're going to read now. You ready? Chapter 7, we're going to read. You ready? And Adam, settle down in the paradise, you and your wife. We're reading chapter 17 from 19, guys. Listen, chapter 7. Eat whatever you wish, yet do not approach the street, lest you should become wrongdoers. We're going to go, go down slowly. So Satan whispered to them to show them both their private parts, which had gone unnoticed by either of them. So they didn't know they had private parts, okay? Right? Mm -hmm. He said, your Lord only forbids you this tree so that you will not become two angels or lest you both become immortal. He swore to them, I am a sincere counselor with both of you. He led them on by deceiving them. Once they had tasted the tree, their private parts became apparent to both of them. It didn't say they were clothed. See, that's why I wanted to let you keep talking. It said they were not aware. They were not aware that they had private parts. But when he told them, hey, you got private parts, she's got private parts, they ate and then became aware. Oh, yeah, we got private parts. They got embarrassed. Once they had tasted the tree, their private parts became apparent to both of them, and they started to patch together leaves from the paradise for themselves. Their Lord called out to them, did I not forbid you that tree and tell you both that Satan is an open enemy of yours? They said, our Lord, we have harmed ourselves. If you do not forgive us and grant us mercy, we will be losers. Now watch. He said, clear out. You will become one another's enemies, yet you may have a residence on earth and enjoyment for a while. So guys, notice, the reason why we're on earth, because Adam and Eve got us thrown out. Now, why do we wear clothes? Children of Adam, we have sent down clothing with which to conceal your private parts and to dress up in, yet the clothing of Heedfulness is best. This is one of Allah's signs so that they may bear it in mind. So, Bilkis, we just read it. They were naked, but they didn't know they had private parts. When they realized they had private parts, that's why Allah then clothed them. And now I have to wear clothes and hide my love handles because of Adam. I Thank you, Adam. I, I can't to, show I my love handles. Guys, I want to ask you guys a question. Um, do, you guys, do you guys support Israel? Because it says like people are supposed to support Israel in the Bible and stuff. I don't uh, ask let me question. answer that quickly. I am pro-Jesus, pro-kingdom of Jesus, and I condemn all terrorists, all murderers. I'm not pro or anti-Israel, pro-anti-Palestine. Whoever is wrong is wrong. My devotion is to so Jesus. Is, okay, my cousin said that uh, Israel is at the apple of God's eye and that they are his favorite Don't people. change the subject, stuck for all. You're going I to protest with the other. Okay, the apple of God's eye are those who belong to Jesus. He's true Israel. Now, Berkis. Come back, he's tired. You change the subject now. He's tired. We'll I talk more. Okay? okay? We'll talk more. Good night. Take care. We like you, Bukis. You did make me happy again. Especially when I saw you wearing hijab with glasses. So you are a hijabi. <laughs> now that's why you wear clothes. You can thank Adam and Eve that you don't run around naked. But Mary wore clothes. Being being covered is a good thing. It protects you. If people, the, the men, they lower their gaze. They respect you more. You respect yourself more. So you then why does Islam allow women to be beaten? That's not true. Okay, the, no, okay the, we'll talk about, come back tomorrow. 
I come back tomorrow, I sister. Go to oh, the woman. Right, He's then. tired, sister. He needs beauty sleep. Right, we okay. love you for the Should sake of Jesus. May you come to Christ. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk about this is not one of them. Bless you guys. Yeah, Jesus bless you by bringing you to his glorious truth who loves you and died for you, Jesus. Oh my God.